Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to introduce you to the ger general bearing capacity equation, which we'll be using to determine the bearing capacity of shallow foundations. The theoretical bearing capacity of foundations is based on ultimate limit state analysis. So essentially, Tezagi derived several equations which could be used to determine the bearing capacity of footings, but there was a need to be able to capture other factors such as the shape of the footing and the soil conditions. So empirical factors were applied to Tazaki's equations. And this new general equation is what is now used in geotechnical design. So this general equation is known as Hansen's equation and is shown here. The equation has quite a few factors applied to it as you can see here. For example, shape factors, to account for the shape of the footing, depth factors to account for the depth of the footing below the surface of the ground, inclination factors to account for loads acting on an angle other than perpendicularly to the footing, ground factors to account for the slope of the ground, and finally base factors to account for when the footing has an inclined base. C here represents the cohesion of a soil, QO here represents the pressure experienced at the base of the footing, gamma represents the unit weight of the soil, and B represents the width of the footing. Now with these factors, you only use the factors which are applicable to your footing. For instance, if the ground is flat, for example, then you don't need to worry about your ground factors. If the load applied to the footing is normal to the surface, like so, then you don't need to worry about the inclination factor. And if the footing is on the surface of the ground, then you don't need to worry about the depth factor because that the distance below the, the surface of the ground is zero. So it's all about just, you know, looking at your problem and thinking about which factors are applicable to our general bearing capacity equation. Now we also have terms here, NC, NQ, and N gamma, and these are bearing capacity factors. And the bearing capacity factors can be found through these equations here. Now instead of calculating these factors every time, we can instead use this table here, as long as we know the friction angle of the soil. So here you can see a table which you can use to calculate your shape factors, depth, inclination, ground and base, fa base factors. Note that if you have a question where the shape factors and inclination factors are both applicable, you cannot apply them both together in Hansen's equation you need to consider them as two separate cases and take the smaller value of the two. In the next videos, we'll go through some examples involving Hansen's equation. Hope this helps, guys.